This is what my skin looks like after my TCA peel, and I am so happy with it. I loved this peel, so good. Hi guys, welcome back. I am in my car. I don't have any makeup on, just lots of sunscreen. So that means I'm gonna go get something done. I'm gonna take you to not get like a real facial. We're actually going to see me get a TCA peel. And then over the next few days, we're gonna see my skin actually peel off. I sometimes hate these kinds of peels, but I feel like I really have gotten my melasma to a good place. I'm, I'm kind of red today for some reason. You never know why you're gonna be red or when it's gonna happen. So today I really feel like this TCA peel is a really good next step for managing my melasma. So I'm gonna take you with me to Castleth Plastic Surgery. They actually have a med spa in partnership with SkinCeuticals. So it's the SkinCeuticals Advanced Clinic here in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills specifically. So I'm gonna go there and we're gonna get this done and learn a little bit more about it. You might remember from my hydrofacial video that I saw Katya. We have Katya again and she's gonna be doing my TCA peel now. So I'm a little bit nervous because Katya just told me that it's gonna, it's definitely gonna sting a little bit, right? It's gonna sting. And if you don't know, TCA is uh, really popular in peels and chemical peels, more so than salicylic acid and glycolic acid because it gets a little bit deeper into your skin. So that's what we're gonna do today. But this does have like 3% glycolic acid in it too. Yes. It's three steps, yeah. three layers. Okay, three layers of it. Yeah. Okay, so. And she says, tomorrow my skin is gonna feel really tight. And then by like three, day three or four, my skin's gonna start really starting to peel. All right, I'm doing. I'm ready. Let's do Let's this. Before I check it out. <laughs> the first time you just clean face with gentle cleanser. We wash the skin with acid on. This is to remove excess oil. How are you feeling now, Susan? It's just a little spicy. Like I feel tingles in certain areas. Is that normal? Yes. Just like in certain areas, right? Yes. It's not all over. So now it's starting to feel like it's still like warm, but it's not on fire anymore. That's the restorative mask. And the last step, of course, sunblock, because we have to protect skin. All right, so I just did the peel and I actually can't believe how my skin looks. I thought it was gonna be like super red and crying and <laughs> on my way home right now feeling sad, but I'm not, I'm not feeling sad at all. I actually feel like my skin is glowing. Ooh, in the sun, sunlight. Super bright. I'm pretty happy with this. I may or may not peel, but I'll keep track of it over the next few days. I just got home and this is what my skin looks like. It's like 30 minutes after. So now it's starting to actually look a little bit more pink and my skin's feeling a little bit tighter and it's feeling a little bit more um, sensitive, I guess. But I'm really happy that we only went with two passes. Normally, Katya says that she would do three passes of the TCA peel, but we decided since I have sensitive skin and my melasma can flare with anything, we decided to go slow with it and just see how my skin takes two passes for now. Cause I can always go back in a couple of months and get another peel done. I mean, like in six weeks, I can get another peel done if this goes well. Um, it does mean I might not peel like a snake over the next few days, which maybe I actually am happy about. I kind of don't like that whole process. I know it's not as satisfying to watch, but I will keep track of my skin over the next few days and let you guys know how it's going, obviously. Okay, so it is Friday. I just wanna show you that the peeling, see how my skin has that look? I put a CC cream on, 
Look at that. It's like ready to start the peel. Ew, that looks so weird. Look, see how it stays like that, creepy? That is definitely the peeling beginning. So that means it took like a little less than two days to get to this point. And it also means I am gonna peel. So this is gonna get good. Good morning. It's Saturday morning and I wish I would have shown you that I just cleansed my face because while I don't always cleanse my face in the morning, when I start feeling that really tight dryness from the chemical peel, I like to go in with like an oil cleanser or like a really creamy, creamy cleansing balm. When you do that, you loosen up all of the dry flakiness. I know people love of doing the whole like cutting the little pieces of skin off after a peel to me that's like upping your chances of actually making your skin worse because your skin is getting like so irritated and everything I want the whole process to be as minimal irritation as possible so I went in with the cleansing balm loosened it all up I wish I would have shown it to you I wasn't expecting it but suddenly it just like flaked up all right here but it got really loose it just felt like you know it just kind of like started to ball up a little bit and that's what I wanted so now I have a face mask on it's just hydrating that's all this is i use face masks a lot post treatment that are just oh look at that i always love that that like glow you have after you take off that mask but see i just love to have that extra hydration and then i'm gonna go in with the rest of my skincare routine so i'm gonna let this dry down a little bit because you can see it's obviously like super wet so when it's like still damp i'm gonna go in with my next step okay i am where i want my skin to be so it's still glistening still damp i'm gonna go in with this from my brand it's our alpha arbutin essence one percent keeping up with that hydration it has alpha arbutin in it and i said this earlier you want to keep using all your tyrosinase inhibitors all the ingredients that really help stop that excess pigment from forming i think I think alpha arbutin is an ingredient that people don't talk about enough because it's a really good one. It's a precursor to hydroquinone. So it's more gentle than hydroquinone. The results will be a little bit slower than hydroquinone. All right, staying on that theme, again from my Renatorium, this is our azelaic acid emulsion 10%. It's also going to decrease that like visible redness that you see. And I think that's also important, especially for someone like me, because I don't want that redness to turn into discoloration. And I think people really, you know, like I'm trying to show this process because I want you to really grasp that just because you get a peel or a treatment done, it doesn't mean that the caring for your skin is done. You have to really make it a better experience. You know, like you can have like a subpar experience or feel like it didn't do much for your skin, but you can also maximize the results with the way that you care for your skin while you're basically just going through the whole process, so. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with this again from La Roche-Posay, the Six Plus Balm. B5, it's so good. I don't need a lot, because I actually have a moisture mask I'm gonna put on, because I'm starting to peel all in this area. Again, you can't really see it, because I softened it up when I was cleansing. There you go, so you're starting to see a little bit. Oh, look at that guy. So see, you get like little pieces, but they're not coming off in sheets like that. It's not irritating my skin. My skin doesn't feel, you know, like it's stinging or anything like that, which can happen. That's not like a sign of a bad thing that happened, right? But I'm trying to minimize that. Last, I'm going in with this from Fresh, their Floral Recovery Calming Mask. This is a nighttime product. I tried it yesterday before I went to bed and I was like, oh, this is so good. So I'm gonna put it on because my skin's obviously in a different place than normal. So I'm gonna put it on now. And I just really love it. It does feel like a mask, but it slowly absorbs. So I'm gonna let this sit while I eat breakfast. And then I'll put on obviously my sunscreen after this. I don't think I need to show you guys that process, but I especially want, I want it packed right here. Okay, have a good day. Hello, just want to show you guys something. So I had to get on an airplane yesterday because we decided to do a last minute trip to Florida to see some friends. Not planned, so timing of my peel was not good, but I've got my sun protection. I've got lots of sunscreen on. I'm super shiny because it's also humid here and I'm like packing on moisturizer. But I want to show you, see this patch right here? That is the reason why you get a peel done because I'm just waiting for that to essentially peel off. You know, I have like a couple of other little spots that are still peeling, but for the most part, my skin has gone through like the majority of the peeling part. And you can see like there's a dark spot there, like right here. So all of that, especially this, it's gonna peel off and then I'm gonna be solid. I'm gonna be so happy with the results. So anyway, back to protection. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, big reveal. It has been just over a week since I had my TCA peel. And I like this result. You know, I'll get a little closer for you guys to see. My skin looks so much more clear. You know, I, I have just more of like a even skin tone. And I think that's exactly what it was I was going for is that just like even skin tone. When you have hyperpigmentation and when you have melasma and, you know, just stubborn discoloration on your skin, 
you cannot expect to see dramatic results just from one treatment. So I'm really, really happy with these results. I still have a little bit of discoloration happening, but it's not half as bad as it was right before I had the peel done. And I've been doing such a good job of taking care of my skin. I mean, this, I'm so glad I was using it before and after because when you use, uh, you know, ingredients like this that prohibit the production of the enzyme that can cause that discoloration, then you're already, you know, like ahead of the game there. And then I just continued using it so that while my skin was healing from the peel, it just wouldn't cause more discoloration to happen. So really glad that I was using this from my brand, but I did take this SkinCeuticals uh, sunscreen home with me and I have been liking it. It's SPF 30, so I use it more so if I'm just gonna be sitting inside the house. Uh, but what I like about it is that it's not only sunscreen, it also has brightening ingredients in here, which I think is a really nice touch to, you know, sunscreens, especially if it's antioxidants antioxidants and sunscreen kind of just go hand in hand. I'm actually going to put it on so you guys can see the texture because I haven't put my sunscreen on. It has like a little bit of a tint to it, but it doesn't really do anything for your skin necessarily for your skin tone, but I'm going to put this on, show you the texture of it. Yes, I put this much on. See, isn't that nice? At first you're like, oh gosh, it might give me a white cast. And then you continue blending it and you let it settle. It's really nice. It feels really good too. All right, so this is what the sunscreen looks like as it dries down. It's actually really nice for guys with like beards. It does collect a little bit in my hair. I have noticed that, but otherwise it feels really nice. And like I said, I use it inside. So, you know, I haven't really like tested it with makeup over it or anything. But anyway, I wanna answer some questions about TCA peels because they're a little bit old school. I feel like people don't talk about them as much because we have, you know, like laser treatments and intense peels and everything. It's a little bit different. And I realized after I got this done and I posted some, you know, things about it on social media that people start asking questions and, you know, they just like don't know much about TCA peels. If you don't know what a TCA peel, TCA is actually not like AHAs. It's not an AHA at all, an alpha hydroxy acid. It's actually a little bit different. TCA is trichlorosidic acid, if I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, sorry about that. I don't say it all the time, but it's a different kind of acid that actually causes more of like a breakdown of your skin proteins. And I actually reached out to Dr. Sam Ellis, who is a board certified dermatologist in the Bay Area. And you know, you know, I love her. We've had her here on the YouTube channel a few times already. She was telling me that what makes it great is that it's causing kind of like a, almost like a trauma to your skin. So if you think about some of the other treatments out there, like even microneedling, you know, you're causing this trauma to your skin, but it's a, you know, it's obviously a trauma that they want to have, which in turn makes your skin heal itself. So then you end up with really nice results for your skin. She says that can lead to collagen stimulation and to destruction of atypical cells and the elimination of superficial pigment, which is helpful for what I'm dealing with because there are all these different layers. So I wanna point out, this is like a little lesson that I learned years ago from a dermatologist here in Los Angeles named Dr. Rebecca Fitzgerald. She was talking to me about hyperpigmentation and why it's so hard to deal with and why this is like a constant. You just will always be dealing with this if you are prone to hyperpigmentation. And the reason for that is because if you think about our skin, it has different layers to it, right? There's different layers of skin that we're kind of getting through, right? And you might see that hyperpigmentation at the top and at the top, it's the darkest that it's gonna be. And it's like the largest it's gonna be. It's just the most prominent that you're seeing. So you can go and get all these like treatments done that are going to help target that hyperpigmentation. And maybe you'll get rid of that first layer, but then you still have a little bit underneath it, right? And then you have to work on that. And you still have another layer that you have to work on. And maybe it starts to get lighter and smaller as you get through each and every one of these layers. But this is years of work, right? And years of discoloration and trauma for your skin. And while you're dealing with that hyperpigmentation that you can see now, you're also trying to prevent new hyperpigmentation from happening. So you are using your skincare products at home that help to prevent that hyperpigmentation. You are wearing your sunscreen consistently to help stop that hyperpigmentation from forming. So this is like a constant cycle. And this is the reason why you're always going to see me getting treatments that are focused on my melasma and hyperpigmentation because this is an ongoing issue that I'm gonna deal with for the rest of my life. You can treat it and you can help maintain but you can't ever make it completely go away. There's always gonna be something, especially if I try to live my life, there's always gonna be something that makes it 
come on up to the surface. So that's why I'm so happy with these results. But I did talk to Dr. Sam Ellis and I had some more questions for her. So let me, let me tell you a little bit more about her answers with my notes here. What percentages can you get it at? And she said, you can actually get TCA peels at a hundred percent. Mine was at 15% for context, but she said that that's like a, a whole other thing. She said for superficial chemical peels to address concerns like melasma, dullness, and fine lines, then a strength of 10 to 25% is usually what is used and that's you know exactly what I did and also they recommend several sessions because just because you get through one layer doesn't mean that you've gone through all of them you have to keep coming back to get through those other layers but she said you know for a medium depth chemical peel you can go up to 50 percent but she said with these higher percentages she said there's a higher risk of scarring and chances of getting you know like more hyperpigmentation and other irregularities like that. So she definitely is like careful. She had even said to me that, you know, when it comes to these really high percentages of TCA peels, she tends to avoid it with anybody with melanin rich skin tones because she doesn't want to, you know, cause any unnecessary trauma that could then lead to worse discoloration. And then she said very high percentages at like 70 to 100% of TCA can be used to address certain types of acne scars. Um, so you were, we're talking about like the acne scars, like the, like the pick scars that you get, like the deep ones. When I asked her why somebody would choose a TCA peel over specific lasers like IPL, she said that TCA is less inflammatory, which was exactly the reason why I wanted to do it. I have personally found, and this is just me, this isn't necessarily everybody else, but my melasma seems to be triggered with inflammation, right? And I, you know, obviously that's, I, I think that's like pretty obvious. But um, when I say like inflammation, I've noticed that, you know, when I go get certain treatments done, if it's, you know, like really damaging to the skin, like microneedling, it used to be totally fine for my skin, but now it just makes my skin worse. It makes my hyperpigmentation worse. So if you go and get, you know, like a, a laser treatment like IPL, it can be very heated. It can get really hot, which again is what causes my melasma to really stand out. So for people like me, we are, you know, more prone to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That's that redness that you get and that then darkness that you get after you have some kind of trauma to your skin, even after like an, a pimple, for instance, right? And especially people who have a lot of melasma, people who have melanin-rich skin tones, you know, like deeper skin tones than mine especially, then you really have to be careful with IPL. It's not necessarily recommended for us, right? So she says then a TCA peel is maybe the better way to go for us. So that's also a good note, but I loved these results. I feel like the downtime was not bad. I did peel, but you saw, you know, I really kept my skin moisturized, hydrated, moisturized, and protected. This was a great experience. I cannot wait to go get another TCA peel. I promise I'm gonna go get this done again in like another month because I love these results. So that was me giving this a very glowing review. It has been a while since I have said, I love the treatment so much and I just saw really great results. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can definitely ask me in the comments below. I do wanna point out, I got this treatment done for free because this was actually done in partnership with SkinCeuticals, not this video, but the the treatment that I had done. I, I did a partnership with SkinCeuticals for Instagram. And I, uh, and I, you know, got to choose what it was that I wanted to do. Um, and this obviously was like a SkinCeuticals uh, clinic, their advanced clinic here in Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. So this treatment was free in exchange for the uh, post that I posted on Instagram, but I had no obligation to post a YouTube video and a vlog about this. So this was purely because I wanted to, and I wanted to share this experience. So I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you some information and I will talk to you guys soon.